I would like to welcome to the show Brianna Carter. She's a local writer and a mother. Her book, Positively Penelope, A Day at the Races, could not be any more timely. It's about inclusion, diversity, and the message that anything is possible. Brianna, welcome to River City Live. And before we jump into the book, I just, I love to ask this question. How did you get into writing? Uh, well, hi, Mark. Thank you so much for having me today. I really appreciate it. Uh, I think I've been a writer my entire life. I started writing poetry at a young age. I've always been into theater and music. And I graduated at the worst possible time during the economic crash. And I found myself bartending and waiting tables to, you know, get through as many people do. And I kind of lost my dream of writing along the way. And um, by a chance in happening, I uh, lost my job. I was having kind of like an existential crisis of what to do, what does this mean? And I ended up meeting my now husband and um, didn't like him at the time. <laughs> but um, anyway, started taking notes for Penelope, as I like to refer to the book as. And um, it's been about a four year process, went back into hospitality, managing restaurants to, you know, pay my bills. And when I finally was ready to take the plunge and begin writing full time, I found out I was pregnant. Um, wasn't supposed to be able to have kids, so that was cool. And I just kind of took it in stride. So Penny's my baby. She's been about four years in the making. And I am so excited to be able to share her with the world today. And let's talk about the message and the inspiration, because really the theme, diversity, mm -hmm. and judging by the cover, and the main character, Penelope. So let's yeah. talk about that. Where do these ideas come from? Oh, man. Well, Penny is, I think, a really cool character. I think that uh, she embodies a lot of the struggles that every person juggles with every day, especially as we're growing up and getting into adolescence. Uh, and I also think that um, in terms of her inspiration for me and why it was important to put a character in a wheelchair uh, was for two reasons. There's somebody really near and dear to my heart that was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis five years ago. So seeing his journey and how he manages this and the toll that it takes on your physical well-being is, you know, very heartfelt for me. And it's something that could ultimately put him in a wheelchair. And then uh, a big inspiration was one of my best friends. Her sister has been wheelchair bound pretty much her entire life, but it's never really held her back. She's gotten married. She goes on vacations. She's driving cars. Like, and I just think it was really important for me to put that story onto paper because I found her so inspiring, reflecting back on my own journey with losing my job and feeling like the world was cr coming down on me. I still had all my faculties about me. And here was this incredible woman that was going through life uh, and, you know, had this obstacle placed in front of her and never slowed her down. And I just thought that was really important really important to put into words. And what do you want readers to take away from the book? What's the overall message? Oh man, I think Penny has a, a lot of messages, but the overarching theme for me is uh, perseverance. I think that it's really important for people in general to know that, and it's easier said than done. We all know, I'm human, because there are hard days. We all have hard days, so. Um, and it's really hard sometimes to remind yourself that everything is temporary and you can get through it. So I think that Penny taking her physical ailment and saying, I still want to participate in life and I still make the choice to try is what we all need to hear any given day. Because what's that cliche quote? You never know the battle someone's fighting, so be kind. Um, it's true. We all have really good days and we all have really bad days. And to me, and putting that spirit of can do and just determination and tenacity into this, you know, 10 year old character, I, I, I think resonates with people. I mean, we've all been through middle school and that's tough. So I think it resonates regardless of how old you are or what your situation is. Just knowing that 
you can do. You might not always win the game. You might fall on your face. You know, have you ever seen a toddler try to walk? They fall down times. Um, but you get up and you do it again and you get up and you do it again. And just to be the best version of yourself and to keep momentum regardless, because in all that chaos and in all that struggle, you're going to find truth and you're going to find the answer that you didn't even know you were seeking. And sometimes it turns out better than you could have ever planned. And when you talk about inclusion and diversity right now, it couldn't be more relevant. And it's a message that we want to make sure that we're sharing with our kids and we're doing it the right way. Well, the book is a perfect format to do that. With that being said, what ages do you recommend? Uh, For this book, um, it's around six to eight. You can go a little higher, go a little lower. There are some, there's a little Spanish streamlined throughout the book, very basic. Uh, There's also, you know, a few harder words here and there, but it's a pretty, you know, it's a pretty easy read for the most part. Um, But, you know, to me personally, I think everybody should read it, so... (laughs) Well, Brianna, thank you so much for all your time, your information, and inspiring people out there. If people would like to learn more about you and your book, how can they do that? Uh, You can visit Penelope at uh, PositivelyPenelope.com. She's also, if you want to send her an email, you can email her at PenelopeRoseBurger at gmail.com. And her Instagram Instagram is at Penelope underscore... um, I'm sorry, it's at positively underscore Penelope underscore. So you can reach her in a lot of ways. <laughs> she really is like a kid nowadays. So, oh, yeah, right, oh, exactly. Nice. Well, Brianna, <laughs> thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you.